what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to add a condenser microphone into fl studio so there's someone who asked me on our facebook group they wanted help on how to add a condenser microphone into fl studio and the condenser microphone that they're using is actually a usb microphone so i also use a usb microphone so i'm just going to show you what i do and how i do it to connect it into fl studio so here is the microphone that we are going to be adding to fl studio for my microphone is called shaw mv88 plus it's not a condenser microphone but for right now that's the one i think i need and one i can definitely afford so what you need to do is that connect your microphone to the usb port onto your computer carefully make sure the cable works it's not one of those cables that are broken so after that i want you to open fl studio and i would suggest that you open fl studio from from like restart it because sometimes sometimes it doesn't read the microphone if you connect it while fl studio is on you know how these things go but yes um for the purpose of this video for me it already works my computer already know my microphone so i'm showing you so remember we're pretending like everything is working out right so after the, after you open fl studio i want you to go to the options tab then when you open the options tab you are going to scroll down to where it says audio settings then you are going to fl studio is going to open the settings for your audio drivers and audio settings blah blah whatsoever and i want you to forget about all these other things and only focus on where it says device so for me as you can see right now it says fl studio asio i'm using asio drivers because with the software that i'm using to record this video they work very well if i use um as you can see i also have asio for all v2 that's the one i use when i'm actually doing my work in fl studio but right now i can't use it because once i click on it then my video recording software stops working so what you need to do is that you you can use fl studio as your as your i mean or as your for i mean like they are almost the same in my opinion they are basically the same thing just that the fl studio one is an fl studio version of asio for all but yeah if you think or you know that it's a little bit different please let me know in the comments so we are going to use fl studio seo so after we open that i want you to come where it says buffer length and click that it's going to show you the seo panel this is where you can tweak the if uh, the settings of your of your audio driver so here is where you can tell um it's called the buffer length for me the way i understand it i think from beginner understanding i was just, i know if you move it more to this side you get faster response like there's no delay and but it shows your cpu if you go to this side it's a little bit lagging behind but your cpu is okay so if i don't know what works for you i like to keep it on 256 because i think my computer can handle that so down here for you you are not going to see anything probably for you it will be just written um default input or if you are using a windows thinking it should be written microphone high definition audio or real tech something like that so what i want you to do is come here on the drop down click and scroll down until you find the your microphone it should be written its name and um if you don't find it there then i'll let you know what you should do later on in the video but today right now let's continue with this part so let's say you find the microphone there you are you're going to click on it and make sure you're clicking on our input you're not clicking on output because yeah some microphones like mine actually is an audio output so sometimes it it can you start wondering where is the sound going when actually it's coming out of the microphone because it has a, a sound card itself yeah that's weird so yes um then you are going to check this box that says hard clip output at zero db i just like to keep it checked so that my audio when it goes beyond that 
then by mistake i mean as a producer there's no way you should be going beyond zero dp but yes i just keep that checked and you need to close that after you close that then your fl studio should be ready to record with your microphone so how do you actually get to the point where you start recording something so what you're going to do is jump into the mixer when your mixer opens just choose a random track i like to choose multiples of 10 probably 15 tracks from my last mixing so let's say you've made a beat that has taken up the space from one to like 10 i would probably choose track number 20 for my vocals and recording going forward so i'm going to select track number 20 like this then i'm going to come here and i'm going to click and you are going to see line in one and line in two so if you are using fl studio as your driver the line in one and the line in two are your microphone the one you have connected if you're using uh asio for all asio for all would actually tell you which microphone you are going to click on it's not like fl studio asio which just says line in one and, and something like that so uh another tip just an, an, an additional tip is that when you're recording your vocals you don't want to record them in stereo like don't select line in line line in line in one and line in two because what's going to happen is that um when you are mastering your vocals they are going to be in stereo and you'd want them to be in mono so that you can actually put the stereo yourself so that you can you know just get a little bit of control over it so you would select like my line in two for me for my microphone i know if i select line in two that is my right hand side so of the microphone so i know i'm just gonna be recording on the right hand side but in fl studio as you can see it's already showing that my microphone is 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 picking up something so that is how you are ready to record then the next thing you just need to do is to come here play your beat and press record and i'll make another video now i'll show how to record and uh make sure everything is works ready for your song production i'll make another video about that but today i just wanted to show you how to add, how to add a usb microphone into fl studio i hope you find this video very useful I, oh, i'm also going to make another video about what should you do if you don't find your microphone in the audio driver settings i'll make another video about that i'll drop it i'll drop the link on my facebook group so if you're not there just jump in there and search for stepfather records you'll find a, a facebook page just follow it there and i'll be dropping all the links to my videos right there so that's it from me cheers i'll see you tomorrow